Hello, dear friend. My name is Volzo. I'm a sales manager from Huidu Technology. This video we will get, we will get you how to use uh, Android controller. We will tell tell you how to install it and how to use it with the uh, how to like how to install your Android APK and how to how to uh, use our API. Firstly, we need to know what is the application of Android controller like our M21 based on Android 7.1 version system or 40S, 40M, M30, M30 Android controller. They are both, they are all for different kinds of LCD digital signing. Some LCD screen are for are with touch are for touch some of are for outdoor advertisement like a touch screen or horizontal screen or live meetings LCD screen and some some advertisement for elevator 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 screen or some vertical vertical screen and some out, outdoor LCD digital signage. Both of them are, are equipped with an, an Android controller. This is the interface diagram of one of our Android controller. We call it M21. It's based on based on CPU of RK. 3288. As you can see, this Android controller with a complete complete series of interface like uh, HDMI, USB, and uh, some LVDS and uh, EDP LVDS and EDP are for. E out, uh, output for different kinds of uh, LCD digital signage and HD, HDMI are for sound LCD TV we can output to LCD 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 screen like a uh, LCD digital signage or LCD monitor through LVDS or EDP or HDMI. Also, all of them are works, but you need you need to know what is the what is the input port of your LCD screen. Some of them are LVDS, some of them are EDP, and uh, most of most most training of them are usually with HDMI. If your if your LCD screen is with L LVDS, then you need to connect the LVDS and the LVDS backlight interface on the Android the Android the Android controller. But the but the different kinds of different of LVDS screen with different working voltage. Some some works at three point three, and some works works at Five and some works at the twelve. So before we connect our LCD screen and our Android Android controller through the LVDS interface, we need to figure out what is the working voltage of our CD screen and choose the and choose the right choose the right working voltage on the board. Next, EDP. Some LCD L screen are with EDP input. So we need to connect our Android controller with our and our LCD screen through the EDP input. Also, we need to connect the backlight, backlight EDP backlight with our LCD screen. Also, we need to figure out what is the working voltage and uh, connect can choose the right one on the board. This is 
this is the, this is the backlight backlight interface. If you choose EDP, if you choose if your LCD screen is EDP input, also you need to connect EDP backlight at the same time. And if your LCD screen is LVD is LVDS interface, they need to also connect LV, LVDS backlight. This port is for speaker connection. And this, uh, there is also one power connection for power supply. This video will guide you how to connect the LVDS port and the speaker. First, we connect speaker. Then we connect the LVDS backlight. Next, we connect the LVDS output to our LCD screen. Next, connect the power supply. And about the culture, because different LCD screen, usually with a different resolution, and the different LCD screen also with a different uh, hardware configuration. So we how we change the parameters of our CD screen. First one, firstly, we can use the USB to change the, our LCD screen parameters. We can copy the LCD screen per parameters file files to the U disk and uh, put and put the in, insert the U disk to the Android to the Android controller. Oh, we can also use our app to change our change our LCD screen parameters. We can download the app from the App Store and uh, then we can change the parameters of the LCD screen. And about how to update the program of the Android, Android controller. Firstly, all, all, of, all, all of our Android controller is, is, is equipped with Wi-Fi. So we can use our app to connect the Android controller. And we can send the program to the Android controller through the Wi-Fi connection. And next. We can also update the program through UDisk. We can put a video or image in the in the in the UDisk. Then put the in put the UDisk into the USB port of the Android controller. We can also update the program through the cloud. We can install the cloud in the LAN or on the internet. Then we can. We can we can control the Android controller through the LAN or internet. If the cloud is uh, installed in the in the on the internet, then we can manage all of your all of your Android controller that is accessed to the internet. This is. Uh, this is a website for logging in our cloud. You can create a, a you can create your cloud account through our website. The address is www.ladecloud.com. You can manage all your LCD digital signage with our Android controller through the internet. Like uh, you can. You can send programs through the internet. You can turn on or turn off the LCD screen or LCD digital signage. Next, we will show you. Uh, the next, we will show you the how to how to connect and power on the LCD screen with our Android controller. If you have any question, you can you can email or, or you can email to us. Or 
Thank you.